Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community. It's time for some more action on Gods Unchained. Boy am I hype about this game. But let's not waste any time and dive in. I know the last video I put out was about claiming the tokens. A lot of you have questions so I'm going to try to answer those questions in this video to the best of my ability as well as address some other concerns and issues that I've had in the beta of this game it is a young project it's a new project so there is going to be bugs there's going to be glitches there is going to be issues however this team is very good about fixing any of those issues and communicating with the players so if you haven't yet go and join the discord channel you can find the discord channel right here in your immutable x gods unchained platform the desktop at that you play on so if you haven't joined that go join that a lot of information is going to be in there they have a section that shows their twitter feed uh, announcements any game balancing mechanics any announcements on rewards all of that so that's a good resource to be a part of if you have issues trying to figure out where your God's tokens are, you claimed them, you have went to the blog here, went to the God's tokens tab, claim, all right, and blessings of the gods. So looks like I have some more to actually claim at the moment. So let's see how many. I got 8.41 here to claim, so I'm going to click claim, and they are claimed. Now, if you've done that and you're like, well, I don't see it in my MetaMask, why the hell is it not in my MetaMask? Because if I look here on my assets on MetaMask, you can see there is no gods other than these gods, but I did not get those from the game. I bought these off Uniswap. Well, just like your cards, your cards that are the NFTs with Gods Unchained, you're going to find those on the Immutable X blockchain. So you put your Ethereum in MetaMask, but you have to move it from MetaMask to Immutable X. Now, if there's a better way to do this and somebody knows it, other than going from MetaMask to Immutable X, if there's a way you can go straight into Immutable X, let me know. But I'm pretty sure there is not. This is the way that you have to do it for now. So when you signed up for the game, you would have opened an Immutable X wallet. Now, Immutable X is this platform that we're playing on. So that says Immutable X, you know, right here. That's the marketplace, though is where we want to go to so if we go to the marketplace now we're on the immutable x blockchain this is their site market.ximmutable.com so here we're at marketplace click on inventory and this is going to be your inventory of everything from gods unchained so you can see right here you can deposit immutable x but if i go in here and i go to deposit gods now I have, you can see there, 17 gods in Immutable X. This is the X side of the wallet. This is the MetaMask. This is the main Ethereum network for MetaMask. Those are those 19 I had. I earned 9 last week, a little bit over 9. This week I earned about 8.5. So I've got a total of 17 and a half gods tokens in my Immutable X wallet. So these gods from this, I could move over. We may actually try it here just to see how much it's going to cost because i think it'll probably still cost ethereum but let's find out so you got to go through all these prompts 19 gods and right now it is a 26 25 dollar transaction fee to do that so that is one of the things that is kind of a snag right now with the game is to get your ethereum in and out of immutable you got to move it in and out of immutable you got to move it to uh, metamask or whatever wallet you're using if you're going to sell these gods tokens so i'm not planning on selling these i'm holding these i'm in for the long haul on this game at the moment so i don't care if they're over here in my metamask or if they're stacking up over here in immutable i'm just going to keep letting them grow but that's how you get to it and find out if you got your coins. Just go to deposit, deposit gods, and under the X, you should see the amount that you claimed right there. So there's different types of cards in Gods Unchained that are NFTs and some that are not. So if we go back and we just go into collections and go to more cards, so this is the collections of all my cards. So I'm gonna go to one mana. Now you can see we have gray card, 
and then we have these red cards in between here, gray, red. Well, if you haven't looked at the forge yet and seen how the forge works, the red card is a meteorite quality card. So once a card is meteorite, it is on the blockchain. It is a NFT. If it is a gray card, it is still not an NFT. And that's when you'll be able to fuse these to make them NFTs. So if we go to Forge here and we click this little fusing cost, it's going to give us this chart. So you can see on this chart, two of the playing cards plus Flux, and this is before they closed it. It's closed currently, but it'll be open soon. And it's going to cost Flux and a little bit of God's tokens from my understanding. But you would fuse two playing cards with Flux and God's tokens and you would get a meteorite. This is the red border at the top. It's kind of a burgundy, it's a maroon, dark brownish, red, whatever you want to call it. But that's what those are. Those are meteorite quality. So these are NFTs. So if you see any of those that you pull out of a pack then you got an actual NFT that should be in your inventory on Immutable X. Now, if they're purple, it's shadow, so it's even higher quality. If they're gold, even higher quality. And diamond, even the, that's the very top and some of the most expensive cards in the game, depending on the card. Some of the diamond cards I've seen for millions of dollars listed. Don't know if they've sold, but they've been listed. We'll check that soon. So when you're in your inventory, you will see I have all these red cards in here. These are all my NFTs. These are all the NFTs that I have right now from Gods Unchained. And I do have some other color ones. Most of these, oh, well, right here. Uh, most of these are just meteorite, but I do have the shadow there, uh, the next level up of that card. But it's a common. It's not worth much. But this will be where all your NFT cards are at. So, along with your God's token. And then you can, you know, just kind of change it from newest or oldest to first to how you acquired it. Another thing you can do is pull up transactions here. And this will show you. So, see that God's tokens that I got, they are in my transactions. Just, just got these transferred and they're right there, 8.4. And you can see I've bought a few little cheap cards here and there off of Immutable X and Token Trove. So there's two different marketplaces. We'll get into Token Trove in, in a second. But if you want to sell your cards on Immutable X, it is very easy. So you just click on the card and then you enter your price there and you can list it for sale. And it's got all the information, of course, tells you the rarity. So this is epic, quality meteorite, all of that. Now, how do we find these prices? Mutable X is kind of lacking in this department. We can go and look, so we'll copy and paste the aggravated architect, go back to the marketplace, God's Unchained, and let's see how much this architect fellow is. So, you can see it's kind of spread out all over the place, and that's why I don't like looking for cards on a Mutable X. You can sell the cards from here, but I would much rather use Token Trove. So this is Gudex. If you don't have Gudex bookmark yet, bookmark Gudex. The site is connected to the game. This is going to be where you get all your information. And when you go to player stats right here after clicking meta, you can put in your username. It'll show you the weekend events. This square here is for weekend events. So you can see I already finished this weekend event because the weekend event is 25 games. doesn't matter when you play the 25 games as long as it's within the time limit of the weekend. So I went 10 of 25, total wins 12, but the rank wins were only 10. Started to rank Midnight Shadow, but I'm only going to be getting three rare packs from this. I was only one, one win away from hitting this where it would have been two rare packs, one epic, and one divine order rare pack. So that is for the weekend events. The weekly events where you're getting paid out in the gods token is going to be right here. So you can see everything right here that you need to do and see how many points that you earned. That's going to be how they determine how much gods token that you earned that week. So make sure you're using Gudex for this and then it's got a bunch of other tools top decks tier lists match results matchups all of that but if you go to marketplace at the top we will go into token trove now here's why i like token trove i'm probably going to dive deeper into token trove in a in a whole nother video because there's a lot i want to cover on it 
But let's look up that same guy. So here's the aggravated architect. So now we don't have everything all over the place, right? So if you look close at these numbers, this first number, 201, is how many aggravated architects are for sale. The second number, the 6700, is how many are out there on the blockchain. There's quite a bit out there, but if you go next to the shadow one right here, you can see there's only 23 for sale and only 343 on the blockchain. And as it's going up in quality, they're getting rarer and the price is going up. So this aggravated architect, we click on them and guys, as a trader in the stock market and cryptos, I love that this site has a stock chart, or has a chart. It has a line chart. I wish it was a candle chart, but it doesn't really matter for this. It is a line chart and it has volume bars. So if you don't know what volume bars, those are the red bars behind this blue line that's all up and down. But volume bars just means the amount of transactions in that period, that time period. So if we look at the seven day, we can see the last seven days and we can see by clicking where this is the most volume, a lot of transactions that was up here. So two of them sold for a price of almost point trip zero four. Now, if you're using Ethereum and you're like, man, how do I figure out what a dollar, how much dollar amount this Ethereum is? I use a tool called Currencio.co. So you can find this. I'll put a link in the description. Just a simple little site. You don't have to sign up or anything, but has a nice little converter here. So I'll copy and paste that. And you can see trip 0235 is worth a dollar two in USD. So I could sell this guy for around a dollar two. And we can see the other sales that are behind it for higher prices right here. A bunch of other people selling it. But the first price is going to be the cheapest price. And as these prices get taken out, more and more people coming in the game and they're buying these cards. Well, of course, if people are not going to sell them for any cheaper, the prices are going to continue to go up. Now, not every card you're going to be able to do that with. It's going to depend on the cards that the players want to use, the ones that everybody's trying to buy. So let's just take a look at a couple of random cards in the rarity of Legendary, because Legendaries are more expensive, just to show you guys an idea of how much some of these cards go for. So Jason Medea's Muse, and you can see this one's actually skyrocketed in this m past month. Now, looking at it, there's only 32 of them out there for sale, and there's about 1,867. Nobody seems to be coming off of these. So the all-time price, you can click there, and you can see it's actually broke an all-time high up to this 0.75 Ethereum. There is one for sale right now for 0.6 Ethereum. How much is that, you ask? Throw it in the converter, $2,600. So if you was to pull one of these NFT versions out of the pack, the, meteor, the meteorite one, you would be able to come on here and sell it for $2,600. And people are buying these. We can see on the chart, let's go to the seven day. This morning there's one bought at 12 a.m. For actually a little bit more than that. There's another one bought at 4 p.m yesterday another one bought actually in the last two days there's been about five or six of them bought for more than the one that's actually listed right now some of these people paid up here in this price range for it, so they actually paid about three grand for the so when you got a lot of volume a lot of people purchasing those cards those are the ones that you know you want to look at as maybe a type of investment or something like that so one that i just grabbed for a little investment is aries rune blade and the reason why I bought this one is because if you look, there's 36 of them out there for sale, but only 300 total. So people are not pulling this card, even though it's a rare. If you don't know the rarity scale, I'll go through that in just a second as well, because there's quality and rarity, and there is a difference in what those are. But since there's only 36 of these for sale and only 300, 300 of them out there, look at this card it is pretty strong it is an eight mana drop so it does cost a lot but it has god blitz whenever you attack deal two damage to each creature and heal your god for damage done so it has a five attack and two health there so pretty strong card and that's why it costs so much to use but people have been buying it slowly but consistently 
somebody is always buying and we look at that all-time chart it has been trending up so right now the cheapest one for sale is 0 0.2028 so let's see how much that is that's 12.52 now let's take a look at what I bought mine for so we go to mutable and we go to those transactions let that load there we are and here's the Aries rune blades so I paid 2869 and right now it's 2879 so you know I'm not up very much on this yet just a couple of cents but as the game is growing we're seeing a lot of cards moving up in price so what I'm looking for if I'm going to put a little bit of an investment in one of these NFTs and not just try to pull them from the packs that I win is I want to look for those low supply ones that haven't really shot up in price too much yet but are good cards because you want to look at these like assets because they are assets and one thing about it is with gods and chains you don't have to have a ton of money to be successful in the game as long as you're playing the game you're going to continue to get packs and be able to pull cards that will make your decks better so you can win more gods tokens as well as win more packs to open. So if you do have the extra money laying around and you do want to invest, I recommend using Token Trove because of these charts and because you can see all of them for sale and how many is out there. Now real quick, we went over the quality. Now let's go over the types of cards. So these are going to be your common cards and you can tell these are common because of these little arrows right here, these arrows that point in towards the name, if they're gray, they are a common. If we go into rare, they are blue. And then the next level would be epic, which is purple. And then we have legendary, which is yellow. So you can see kind of yellow, kind of gold, those arrows pointing in. And these get bought up a lot. Look at the volume on these. You're seeing multiple... Last couple of days, about 50, about 50 of these have sold. So that's pretty interesting. And there is one more called Mythic, but there's no Mythic cards yet in the game. So if some of these legendary cards are this expensive, then I can't imagine what a Mythic card is going to be. In the Divine Order set, there is a Mythic. The first Mythic of the game, there's only one. That's it. And I don't really know if there's a way to tell if anybody has already gotten it or not yet. More than likely, they're not going to be selling it right away because it's probably going to be worth a lot of money if it's only that one. But until the game gets further along, you're really probably not going to see very many Mythics for sale. So, of course, if you look at something like a Legendary card and you look at it at the highest quality of Diamond... That's going to be a really high price. Now you can see this Gorilla Gardener here is 4.2, and there's only two of them for sale, Ethereum. So 4.2 Ethereum. We already know this is going to be a crazy amount of money. $18,000 is what that diamond card is going for. And one of those actually sold on November 11th, uh, November 10th. That one actually sold for a lot cheaper. So there must have been one for sale at about half of Ethereum. Now the only other two for sale are these. But see with these high quality, high rarity, you're not going to get a lot of people buying these unless it's just a really good card or somebody's favorite card. Especially when it's like, you know, $18,000 or something crazy like that. So yeah, you can see there, there's a couple of these bought for a little bit. And of course you can pull these out of any packs. The different qualities can be in any packs as well as the different rarities. I've gotten rare packs and pulled uh, epics and even one or two legendaries out of it. And I've gotten epic packs or rare packs and pulled, uh, you know, some shadows and even a gold. I have one gold card. That's as high as I got. Don't have any diamonds yet. But when the forge opens up, you'll be able to forge up and get higher quality cards. So the final thing I'm going to mention today is if you tried to buy any packs, you went to the buy cards, this little area here. When you buy these packs, it's different than the packs that you get in the game. Most of the card packs you get in the game for playing, they're going to be the gray quality common cards that you'll have to fuse into NFTs. But if you buy some where you get a pack that looks like this or like this or like this 
or that, where it's more of a locked book instead of the big kind of thicker book, these will be all NFTs. So if you've tried to buy some of these and you've had issues, we'll see, I'm a, so I may not have enough Ethereum for this, but let's just see if I do. There's been multiple issues with buying packs. Let's see if they at least resolve this. Nope, so they're having problems with Immutable X transfer failure. Now, if you see this and you go and check your wallet and the Ether that is in your wallet is out of it, then you want to go to Immutascan and put in your uh, MetaMask address and you can see it will show you when you've bought any packs. So if, it, if you come in here and the packs are not... And it showed that the Ethereum was taken out, but there is no packs. You didn't get any packs on your Immutable X, on your Gods platform. They didn't pop in the open pack part right here. Then you need to go to the Discord and contact support. Talk to Eclipse. If not, talk to CERN. CERN's a moderator in the Discord. He will communicate with you. Just don't blow him up. And this is something where you really have some issues like you didn't get your packs try not to bother the devs too much they're very very busy trying to get this game running nice and smoothly but when it comes to you spending your money you got to make sure that you are standing up for that and you're not getting hoodooed now i did have issues buying some packs i tried to buy some packs last week early in the week and it did not show up on immutable x so you can see right here it was nine days ago, two different transfers, because I was trying to buy two two different types of packs, and it came out, but the packs never showed up on the Guys Unchained platform. So I reached out to them, reached out to CERN. It took a little while to get it straightened out, but I did receive my packs. I know it can be frustrating, but once again, this is a young project, so you got to be patient with it. You're getting in close to the ground floor, and when you do that, you take some risks, but if it works out in the end, you can do very well with these type of things. So this is Immutascan.io. If you do not have this, there will be a link in the description as well. So you can find that to make sure that you're getting everything that you're purchasing and your God's tokens are coming through because it even shows you the God's Unchained. So now the last part of this video is going to be talking about a mutable X wallet and your outside wallet like MetaMask. When you claim the God's tokens, those are in this wallet here, the immutable X wallet. If you have Ethereum that you want to move into your immutable X wallet to buy cards off of either the immutable X marketplace or token trove, you will have to pay the Ethereum gas fees from MetaMask into Immutable X. And it's the same thing if you want to take money out of here. Say you sold some cards and you got you know, a couple hundred bucks in Ethereum that you want to pull out of Immutable X, you will have to pull it out and pay the gas fees for it to go back into MetaMask. So with Ethereum gas fees being high, you know, it's not idea to do that unless you're going to be putting quite a bit of money in here if you're just putting like a hundred bucks in here at once the theorem gas fees may be 40 or 50 bucks so it may not be worth it to do it that way now depending on the time of day will depend on the ethereum gas fees and how busy the network is so you can get some cheaper gas fees if you can figure out the right times there's charts that you can google you could probably look at Etherscan, things like that, to see what the gas fees are at the time and just try to get as low as gas fees as possible. Eventually, I think this issue will be solved. Mutable X is built on top of Ethereum. It is a layer two. Gods Unchained is would be a level, would be a layer three, I guess. As soon as Immutable can support transferring God's tokens around. I think we'll no longer see Ethereum be the gas fees, but we'll see God's token and Immutable X token. It may just be Immutable X token that is the gas fee token for the Layer 2. So when they go to do that, I believe that the fees will be a lot cheaper to do all of that. Now, it's the same thing if you want to buy packs. If you put Ethereum in your MetaMask, you have to move the Ethereum over to Immutable X 
to buy those packs. If you just put $100 in Ethereum and MetaMask and you go to buy packs, it is not going to work. The money has to be in Immutable X wallet before you buy packs from here. So the easiest way to do that is go back to your inventory to get Ether in here, deposit Ethereum, and then you can just send the Ethereum from your MetaMask wallet into Immutable X. Same way you would with the God's tokens, and then you are good to go. Once the Ethereum is on Immutable X market, on Immutable X, the Ethereum's in your Immutable X wallet, there is no fees for buying any of the cards. So that's pretty cool. And once they're in, once the Ethereum's in your Mutable X wallet, you can also buy straight from tre Token Trove. Same way on both of them. So if you're looking for cards, you will be able to grab them there. Just make sure, again, that your Ethereum is in Immutable X. But when you buy the single cards like this, they will show up in your Immutable X platform, the Gods Unchained platform here, and that's all, That's it. Once you buy them from there, either Token Trove or the Marketplace, the Mutable X Marketplace, they will be right in here already. If you're in your workshop or collections and you bought them, you may have to close out the program, reopen it, so it'll refresh it, and then you should see those new cards there. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that answered everybody's questions they had after the first God's Token video. I'm going to continue to update on this game, probably do some gameplay, a few other things with it as well. And I keep you guys updated to how much, you know, God's Token I'm making and NFTs that I'm pulling that I may be selling. At the moment, I'm not selling any of them. I'm still trying to build out a spreadsheet for my inventory. So that way I can keep up with values and all of that. When I get that done, I will show you that guy. I'll show you guys that as well so you can kind of set up your own inventory sheet if you don't know how. If you haven't yet and want to follow this amazing game, Gods Unchained, and the content I put out on it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.